this week on Tarzan. You're under arrest for the murder of Rika Branston. Remember, shoot to kill. <laughs> you are the men who are killing the apes. Easy, stranger. You don't want to end up like your friend, there, do you? <laughs> Mary, uh, would you like to have a look? A woman died here. And all you care about is a stupid piece of hair. This is Lord Greystalk, who's there when women disappear and when they turn up again dead. Tarzan, orphaned at birth in darkest Africa, raised by the great apes. He grew up in the primitive world of the jungle until fate brought him face to face with his past. Taking his rightful place as Earl of Greystoke, Tarzan soon became disenchanted with civilization. He returned home to Africa. Tarzan, Lord of the Jungle. come for us to take matters into our own hands, to put an end to these killings, to destroy the brutal beasts that have been preying on our women. Yes. Remember, shoot to kill. A wounded ape will charge and tear you to pieces. All right, mount up. Let's go. Going after the apes. Oh, it's about time somebody did. Three women murdered, two others missing. None of us will be safe till they get rid of those bloody monkeys. But what if the apes aren't responsible? Oh, come on, Mary. You don't believe those fairy stories about a beast. Did I ever tell you about the time I wrestled the bull ape? <laughs> yes, Kim. <laughs> I've heard all your lies, darling. Rika, my dear, I do not lie. Oh. I just tell stories, that's all. <laughs> Well, there goes our only customer. <laughs> it's an um, time to close up. Come on. We'll walk it to the home. Okay. It's freezing. Oh. Bloody lights. Kim, we locked him in. Oh. <laughs> you go on. I'll catch you. Okay. Ah. Oh, Come on, Rika. Let's go back inside, eh? We could have another oh, you've little got drink. To be kidding. Skim. Wouldn't take no for an answer. <laughs> I can handle it.
半兵衛が来ればこの。Maybe you're the murderer. Certainly smell like a gorilla. Easy, stranger. You don't want to end up like your friend there, do you? What do you say? We just string him up right now. Ask questions later. To me. I saw the beast with my own eyes. It was not this man. I lost my best friend to that that thing. We can't go around accusing everyone we don't know. Our revenge belongs there. She's wrong. You're all wrong. You seem to like defending these hairy buggers. Who's gonna speak for you, stranger? I will. This is Lord Greystoke, an English gentleman, fit to walk amongst the best of you. I know him to be a man of courage and honor. This is not your killer. Now, all of you, go back about your business. Hey, it worked. Welcome to civilization. Or Denali's excuse for it. Tembo, what are you doing here? I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, came to make a little purchase. A little purchase? A generator. For my village. You know, electricity. It's the 20th century. What's wrong with bringing a little progress to the jungle? You really want me to answer that? No. So you heard about the apes? Got to stop the slaughter, Tim. Whatever this beast is, it has the unfortunate habit of choosing Denali's young women as its victims. The whole town has fallen into an hysteria. Timba, you've been around the apes. In battle, there's no one more fierce, but only when attacked. They're actually afraid of people. How can you say that about such vicious animals? I know them. Well, I know what I saw last night, and it wasn't human. It had arms and legs like an ape, fur like an ape, and it stunk like an ape. You were there when the woman was attacked? Yes. Take me there. I can't. I can't go back. Lives depend on it. Whose lives? Your precious apes or the women of Denali? Both. How interesting. You know, there's an old chestnut that tells me that the murderer always returns to the scene of his crime for the narcotic thrill of it. Lord Greystoke, I'm Chief Inspector Hanson. This is Dr. Wheeler, Denali's coroner. 
I suppose you've heard all about these apes disposing of our young women. You can hunt down the apes, but your killer will still be alive. <laughs> Temba told me you were a forthright kind of fellow. The inspector's selling me the generator. Yes, just a little side business of mine. Becoming quite profitable. Uh, Tarson, uh, uh, forgive me, but after hearing all the legends, it's a true honor to finally meet you. Uh, I must admit I'm something of an expert on your life story. That's right. The doctor tells me you grew up with the apes. Yes. And you live amongst them now. Tarzan has come to help, Inspector. Forgive me. The habits of the profession. I'd like to look around, Inspector. The sense is still fresh. It won't be long before the Earth takes back its secrets. Be my guest. Hello, Mary, my dear. It's awful about Vika. Fascinating. Any progress? You were right, Inspector. There was an ape here. My conclusions precisely. Hominoidus pangidei. A hair of the hybrid great ape. Rare to find them this far west. Uh, perhaps they've migrated in search of food. Can I see that, Doctor? Of course. Uh, Mary, uh, would you like to have a look? A woman died here, and all you care about is a stupid piece of hair! Right, well, uh, that's enough for today. Uh, Tarzan, Timba, my motor car's just at the end of the alley. Can I transport you somewhere? Thank you, Inspector. And we'll get you a room at the hotel. I'll sleep in the stable. Very well. Good day. It was a pleasure meeting you, Tarzan. Sorry about your friend. I think I can help you. 
I have a clue. Seems like all of Denali's got electric lights now, except this place. Mary. Girl's got to be more careful about the company she keeps. You don't want to land up like the others, do you? No! Denali. I came to Denali with my husband. Mark was a geologist. Was? He died in a mine cave in. We were going to strike it rich, the diamonds. But all our dreams died with him that day, and now I'm stuck in this god-awful place. I'll leave. I, I plan to, as soon as I get enough money together. No. Get out now. You don't belong here, Mary. I can give you some of Mark's clothes to wear. I fainted when I saw the beast. And when I woke up, the stone was in my hand. Why didn't you show this to the inspector? I, I was scared. The beast must have put it there. Why I'm still alive is a mystery to me. Maybe you wanted a witness. This isn't a stone, it's a fossilized seed. Seed? Of the baobab. Greatest tree on the continent. The tree where man was born. Mary. I need to see the other victims. Why? Because something is not right. A great ape only fights when it's attacked. And when it kills, well... It never would have let you live. The victims, do you know where the bodies are? At Dr. Wheeler's. There's somewhere in there. to identify one of them. It was horrible. Stay here.
show you, Tarzan. This is quite dead. Perimortal athetosis. Erosion of the nerves. Uh, completely normal phenomena after death. She's still warm. And her teeth. Oh, not just her teeth. Many features have become ape-like since her death. Her very skull has elongated by a centimeter. Perhaps the bites of the ape somehow affected her, the way rabies do. It's outside my field of specialty. Nevertheless, I plan to uh, submit a paper on her to the Royal Journal of Forensic Medicine. <laughs> and him? Was he rabid? No. I merely examined that ape to uh, see if the teeth match the bite radius on the victims. Did it? I'm afraid the results are inconclusive. Well, an ape didn't draw what's on that woman's hand. <laughs> my dear fellow, in my career, I've discovered people have tattoos in the most uh, remarkable places. Um, but I'm afraid I'm very tired and I uh, must say good night. Uh, come along. Miserable damp. It smells like rain. We can use it. I am always at your disposal, Tarzan. But being a gentleman, perhaps you'll use the front door on your next visit. Good night. you see? Something. Come on. I need to speak to the inspector. Come on.
Tarzan! Gemma. Where is she? Who? Mary. That thing, it has her. It has her, Temba. I need to talk to the inspector. The inspector? No, Temba. No! What's the matter? Lord Greystoke, forgive me. I didn't see you coming. Inspector, how could you allow them to burn the apes like that? It's barbaric. That gentleman is the swift, majestic way of the people seeking justice. The hunting party trapped an entire pack of them near the Wadamba Ridge. Those she-apes would have nursed any of them back to health if they had fallen ill. Sometimes I think we fool ourselves into believing that we're any different from what lies out there beyond the buildings of this little outpost. Some people just don't deserve to live. Lord Grotstoke. One moment. It appears that Mary Bergstrom has vanished, and she was last seen in your company. Inspector, this is ridiculous. And then Dr. Wheeler tells me that you paid him a little visit last night. I'm not your killer, Inspector. I never said you were. Your beast. It's not an ape. Or a man. Then what exactly is it? I don't know, but I have an idea where to find it. That is a sprout from a baobab tree. Is there one near town? Yes. But I failed to see the connection. Inspector! They've, uh, they've found another body. Our beast is a flair for the theatrical. As the seed becomes a tree, so his power grows. What the devil are you talking about? Let's have a look at this body. How many more will have to die? Before what? Huh? Before I arrest every man in Dunali? From where I'm standing, there's only one suspect who knows facts that only the murderer would know. Who's there when women disappear and when they turn up again dead! Now, Timber says you're a friend. Very well. Because of him, you have your freedom. But remember, I'm keeping my eye on you. Ape man. Don't try to leave town. That went well. I'll talk to him. Load her up. Tell me, how you knew she'd be here, Tarzan? The beast left the baobab seed with Mary. When I saw the woman's hand at the morgue, I knew. You've bewildered me, Tarzan. A Cartesian mind in the body of a man who runs wild with savages and apes. In many ways, I envy you your life. Why do you think the murderer deliberately left clues behind? Let witnesses like Mary live. Ego, perhaps. Maybe he needed to whisper to the world of his power. That would be his downfall. 
fascinating tree, the baobab. Natives around here uh, believe the gods planted it upside down to punish it for its vanity. Some believe it was the original tree of good and evil in the Garden of Eden. You know a lot about this tree. Uh, I rather fancy myself an expert in African flora and fauna. What else do you know? Well, I know all about you. And uh, I'd like to know more. It may sound somewhat ludicrous, but I believe we share quite a bit in common. Why did they have to die? The women. I really haven't a clue. What about the apes? Oh, of course. Your precious simians. I must say, I share some of your anger over their wanton slaughter. Magnificent creatures. In many ways, more advanced than man. Come on. I'll give you a ride back to town. We can talk. I'll find my way back. As you wish. Um, we'll continue our discussion some other time. Friends. Lord Greystoke. You're under arrest for the murder of Rika Branston. Tarzan. I'm sorry. On what grounds? We found this hidden in your bedroll. It belonged to the victim. You're making a mistake, Inspector. I don't think so. Everything I can to get you out of here. Could you do something about the noise out there, Temba? The generator? Progress. Try to get some sleep. We'll come back in the morning.
the line must have come in. Was close. We've got to stop Wheeler. Wheeler? The doctor? Scott Mary. You think he's the killer? The good doctor's figured out a way to mutate himself with apes. But why kill the women? To experiment on them. to survive the injections. Mary. Sweet Mary. She shall be my Eve. Were your experiments really worth the lives of those innocent women? You know nothing about my experiments. About the advancement of mankind. About murder. Anthropoid hormones, the finest in the world. I told you, we're not so different. Join me, Tarzan. Become immortal. <laughs> Packed up and ready to ride. I'm going to miss both of you. Come pay us a visit. I should have my generator up and running in no time. Are you still planning on leaving, Denali? As soon as I get enough money, I'm going back home to England. Infernal machine. You sure you don't want to buy that, too? Whoa, one machine's enough. <laughs> Well, I just wanted to say goodbye. Denali is grateful to you, Tarzan. 
Thank you, sir. I, uh... I have something for you. It's the reward money for ridding us of our beast. It's quite a tidy sum. Have a safe trip, Mary. Well, goodbye. Bye, Jim. Bye.